वेलकम टू द फ्री ऑटोमेशन लर्निंग एंड दिस इज चिराग सो फ्रेंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज अ एक्सेप्शन इन जावा सो बेसिकली इन एवरी लैंग्वेज एक्सेप्शन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ वी कैन हैंडल एक्सेप्शन इन दैट लैंग्वेज सो जावा गिव्स अस वेरी ब्यूटीफुल हैंडलिंग वे टू हाउ वी कैन हैंडल एन एक्सेप्शन इन जावा सो वाट इज अ एक्सेप्शन बेसिकली एक्सेप्शन वुड कुड बी एनी थिंग इट कुड बी यू राइट कोड एंड यू मेक एनी मिस्टेक एंड एट रन टाइम इट वुड योर कोड वॉज इज विल नॉट रन सो दिस मे बी हैपन ड्यू टू द एक्सेप्शन यू मेक एनी मिस्टेक एंड एट दैट टाइम रन टाइम एक्सेप्शन विल ऑकर or there would be anything when there is an error comes so we can we can handle that error so these types of things can happen in the when we run our code so in selenium web driver we also have to write our code so we have to knowledge about the exception so i already told you ex- regarding the exception exception would be anything which can interrupt my flow it may be a run time exception or it may be a compile time error if it is a compile time error then we can easily remove uh, that error at the uh, when we compile our code or if it is a run time exception then we have to Uh, handle that exception in our code so what is a type of exception there would be a two type of exception first is a checked exception and other is a unchecked exception so checked exception are those where we have uh, declare when my method or the method which we are using uh, can declares a throws or uh, follow the throws exception or it may be uh, handle any other exception so let me show you i am going to create a new tutorial for this this is a tutorial 23 let me check mains method and generate commits so i'm going to discuss check exception public void check exception and wait suppose i have to wait and i am going to use thread dot sleep and i am giving 1000 so it is showing that either i have to check is for this surrounding uh, with try and catch or add throws declaration so i am going to here throws a declaration so this kind of exception which we have uh, throws it is a normally a checked exception right and what is a unchecked exception unchecked exception are those which can occur at the run time let suppose there is int i is equal to 5 and 0 xyxo i so here it will not give me any exception because there is no syntax error or there is no anything 
wrong with this but this is a logic mistake so i have to create a object to call this method now run this code and you will see let me open this and you will see this arithmetic exception occurs here so what would be here so this type of things is known as unchecked exception because is this exception occurs at the runtime so this is the difference between the checked exception and unchecked exception now the thing is how we can handle exception so we usually handle the exception by using try and catch block or we can uh, sometimes use try catch finally block right so just give me a second i will explain you suppose there is a my code i am going to write any code here rest my at this point the exception will occur here and my these two line will not uh, uh, you may say run so at that time uh, this uh, my program would terminate here and it will not run these two lines so we have to handle such type of things so let me show you i run and you will see that my program would terminate here right so i have to just put this on try and catch just put uh, right try and catch and control and space then this syntax come and i have to write this or what would type of this exception is this a arithmetic exception so i'm call this exception now i'm going to uh, run this code again at that time i handle this exception here that if any exception comes put try and catch and this uh, will uh, i an exception come here and uh, this goes to catch and print the uh, exception log here and then go to this line right just click and say you can see my rest let me expand this you can see that my rest my code is execute here so this is a one way how we can handle exception suppose i have to write uh, finally also so there finally what is the finally finally is a keyword which can be used by try and catch so the, in by using this it doesn't matter any exception occurs or not finally key, uh, fi the code between um, uh, inside finally always run so uh, we just need let me show you rest my code always run so finally we in practical or in current scenario we just use finally where we have to close any connection suppose i have created a database connection and i have to close that session anyhow it doesn't matter any exception comes at uh, database when i fetch the data from database or not i at the end i have to close that se session so i have to write finally and uh, close that session at that time because finally always uh, run right 
so let me run this code and show you so you will see let me expand this you will see test my code always as any exception occurs then it run uh, it goes to final now i will show that no exception comes and let me give this more meaningful finally now again run this code at that point and no exception comes but my finally code will run again let me expand if you see that i is printed here rest my code i'll also print here because this on all on in tribe block and then finally my code run and this is after the finally block code has been executed so this is our try catch and finally exception right so now what is a throw and throws keyword <clears throat> sometimes we need to throw any exception uh, so at that point we have to put throw keyword to uh, to manually execute to manually or hard code it or exploit uh, just uh, expand uh, or uh, fire die exception to show that okay you can uh, run uh, you can block this code here suppose there is any mm, scenario where i have to put if any candidate age is more than 18 then my code will run if it is less than 18 then just stop and uh, come out from the uh, program or code so at that condition we have to use this throw keyword let me Understanding you, public void test throw int age is equal to ninety. If age is equal to more than equal to eighteen. I'm fine here. Right. So this is the my logic. <clears throat> I put a age nineteen. If is is uh, equal or uh, greater than 18 then pass else throw new null point exception because i have to terminate my program here so let me commit this and execute this test throw program at this time my age is 19 so it would be a pass let me explain it would be a pass result right because it is 19 now i'm going to put age is 10 now again i'm running now it give me a null point exception you can see here this is a null point exception 
because I have to terminate my program here. So this is a throw. By throw new exception we can uh, explicit uh, ex uh, file a exception to our code. Right. So what is a throws as I uh, already discussed where we have uh, any ex uh, exception which we have declare and we have to throws so we just put any uh, at the when we have to creating a method then we can use throws and just declare the exception that we are going to here tell the programmer that while writing this code I am face I will have to face this kind of exception so just this is a checked exception and I am just going to uh, declare this exception at the time of when I am creating a method so this is a exception session so guys mostly in uh, um, selenium you have to use try and catch ex uh, try and catch block to handle our code and selenium has its own exception so i will discuss uh, the those exception in my next video for then bye bye and take care